So the Combined Authority is a partnership of uh, the seven metropolitan authorities um, in the West Midlands. So Walsall, Sandwell, Dudley, Wolverhampton, Birmingham, Solihull and Coventry. Uh, and it's governed by the leaders and the elected mayor of the West Midlands. And we are the, the purpose of our combined authority is to create a more prosperous and better connected West Midlands that is fairer, greener uh, and healthier. Today is, is, a, is really about trying to understand, because we don't, let's, let's make that clear, we don't understand why people don't engage with any activity that's around policy or things that affect them. And I, we don't know why that is. I, I hear phrases like hard to reach. There is no hard to reach. People are easy to reach, but they're just not engaging. But as a young person, I don't really see any young people kind of turn up to these kind of events or be able to have their say in things like housing, jobs and skills and other, other variant like factors. I think it's really important for people like me in my age group, in my culture, in my background, also being biracial and dual, of, of dual heritage that we get that, we get that say out there because we're also affected, the elderly are also affected. It's not only poor people that are affected, like there are so many people that can be affected and if we don't get our say in, nothing, nothing, we don't, nothing's got changed, we, we're not heard if we don't get our say in, so. So at NatWest we want to help champion uh, potential and we want to help communities and people and businesses to thrive. So being part of this accelerator program where we're supporting entrepreneurs and working with community members, we wanted to take this opportunity to participate and contribute to a program where we're really getting to hear the voices of the community. We have, we have vegetables on the table and all we're doing is getting people to talk about those vegetables and, and you know, how they use them, what memories they have, learning about their lifestyle and what's important to them. And we started with something like simple like food because everybody has that in common. But then we start to get into the things that are different. So people have a different perspective about transport, jobs, skills. Um, education, um, well-being, health. So all of these things are real things that the combined authority has control over. And it's really got me thinking about, if we think about the big picture issues that we have to tackle, such as climate, such as inequality and access to healthcare and all these things, access to opportunities, We've got to start at home. We've got to start with families and what's important to them. So this for me was a, an opportunity to be able to bring together people who don't get to have conversations. But if they don't have the conversations, the public services and the way that they're delivered can never change, can never ever change. So we know what we do works. I know what I do works. So it wasn't the surprise, it was the gloriousness of how well it worked. Um, from that first task. So we, um, we were on a table that was talking about skills um, and I think the whole topic, was, uh, there was a lot of different perspectives. Um, we, one of the topics that came up, which I think is fascinating, is the access for not necessarily the younger adults, but just the older generations, the access to the right learning, um, that helps them transition. The table that I was sat on today was focusing on jobs. Um, actually, wider than jobs, just all talking as a unit around the table made me realise that actually we're, we are a lot more similar and we've all got so many shared goals. It's just we don't get the opportunity to actually speak together in that kind of situation. Um, so I think my key takeaway today is, um, you know, that kind of community spirit needs to be bled out across the, the kind of wider ecosystem of people that make up the West Midlands. Um, we need to enable this more spaces like that to be able to talk um, and I think we need to be able to feed that into mechanisms that act can actually take action. I've, I've always just not limit myself. So to, to be in an environment where you then recognise that there's so much limitation um, that people, people are experiencing, um, you know, did bring it out. I'm not so sure what's to change. However, um, you know, in terms of getting access to information, um, in terms of, um, you know, we have multi-cultural um, um, situations 
where some people are referring to just even the language uh, or even the confidence to approach certain um, things to motivate themselves to make that first step. We invited people that sometimes don't feel like they get a chance to speak, they don't get a chance to be heard. Um, we tried to be as wide as we could in making sure that lots of different voices were represented. Um, and I think the big thing about today was that we weren't, we weren't focused on one end point. This was an open conversation, an open start. We know that there's more work to do and more work to follow. So we sat on our table and we asked ourselves the question, what is housing? What does it mean to us? And what was really interesting is that we all came up with the answer about sanctuary, safety, security. And when we actually sat back and we said, well, are we saying this from our lived experience? Are we saying this is what people should have and should want? Or are we saying this is what it is? Um, and that opened up some really interesting points. And, and I think, again, we all have a really um, a, a, a consistent understanding of what housing should be but we just accept that it isn't the way. Um, and that's something that we, all, you know, we certainly all took away to say we need to challenge this a bit more. So today is really important to us. Um, we have a newly established Race Equalities Task Force um, and they are helping to advise us on um, listening to voices that aren't necessarily heard, how to make sure our policies are really effective, especially as we come to that bit about what is fairer. So we know that um, ethnic minorities in this region have uh, more problems using public transport, getting access to jobs and houses that suit their needs. And today is really about listening to the voices. And we've got a great group of people um, in this room, a tremendous opportunity for us all to listen and reflect. And the work that happens here today will come back to our board um, and they will help us to continue to shape our work to make sure that we are always looking at equalities and inclusion through everything that we do with the combined authority. We're really grateful to the people, so many people have taken time out today to be here to help us to do a better job for the West Midlands.